their palm community has been thrown into a state of shock after the news of the teenager's demise spread through the community. Some members of the community marched through the streets of Apam in solidarity with the deceased and their families. The street chief executive for Gumwa West, Bismarck Basi Inkum, spoke to City News. We've retrieved 14, of which three of them are alive. 11 of them, unfortunately, have lost their lives. It's an unpleasant incident that uh, took place yesterday in the evening. Uh, God being so good, we've been able to retrieve much of the body. In fact, when we had a conversation with those who were saved, our understanding is that they numbered about between 15 and 20. So if we have retrieved 14, then we are still expecting that one or two are still. But so far, we haven't had family members, relatives coming to claim that there is anybody who is, who is also missing. So we assume that for the 14 bodies that have been retrieved, that should be all. Otherwise, we expect more. The families are eager to get hold of the, the dead bodies in order to give them a refitting barrier. But we are also of the opinion that the laws of the, of the land must be followed. And so according to the police, they will have to go to court for a coroner inquest tomorrow, followed by an autopsy, after which the bodies will be released to, to the respective families. So for which reason, we have also approached the mortuary, make the necessary financial arrangement to ensure that they take, their, they take care of the bodies before they are released uh, tomorrow. That is what we have done so far. The district best farmer for the area, Bonsu Apia, believes the teenagers who died defy the traditions and customs of the ancestors of Apam by swimming in the area that is sacred. Even though Apam Gumba were central region, Chief Fisherman for Apam, Nana Kobna Kaiko, says the ancestors will be consulted for the rest of the bodies to be released to the family for burial. <laughs>